what we've heard today mostly has been the physical slavery, isn't it? Yes. Physical slavery. How um, the white men, the Brazilians, the Portuguese and all came to Africa, uh, to Nigeria and enslaved our people. Now, what we want to talk about, the reason for this trip, with young people, with Nigerians, with Africans, and with people in the whole world, if we want to change that narrative, this is the normal narrative. Now, we as young people want to change that narrative because we want to begin to tell ourselves the truth. We, like he said somewhere, allowed them to do this to us. Because when they were saying this thing, some of you were getting very emotional. Oh, ah, so. <laughs> Okay, so they did this and they did that. Yes, they were wicked. Yes, they were inhuman. Yes, they were everything. But yes, you were dumb. Yes. 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 Yes, yeah. yes you were dumb. Yes. Africans have always been known to be strong. Yeah. We have always been known to be intelligent. Mm -hmm. We were building pyramids even before they came. Yeah. At what point did we lose ourselves? Yeah. At what point did we become suddenly small when these guys came? So how many people came to Nigeria? Do you know how many first Portuguese that came? Do you know how many of them came? No, but thousands. But we Africans are in the millions. No? Yeah. Probably in Nigeria. We're even in the millions there. Yeah at the time, you know? Um, and we are known, or we are famously known to be physically stronger. Yes. Do you agree? Yes. So they came in whatever they had. At what point did we think that we couldn't stand up to them? Mm. There was something very important he said today that, I, that we both noted. He said, um, yes, um, um, at the end of all the slavery, the black people started to revolt, you know, and then they had some of them went to the courts, some of them started to form militias. But then he said something of note. He said the biggest transformation and the abolition of slave trade actually came because the black uh, slaves were no more needed. Mm -hmm. Lord. So the main uh, um, um, end to slavery as we know it today actually happened because we became useless to them. Exactly. And that needs to sink in because there was an industrial revolution which is still mental for them. So they continue to develop themselves while we continue to think that we could not develop. Mm. We did not change the revolution. We did not alter the time or the, or, or the we, yeah, we were, you know, people who stood up here and there. But we were not the reason why it stopped. Yeah. It was because we were no more needed. Until today, the black man continues to suffer this fate. Now, not necessarily in the hands of the white man, but in the hands of ourselves. That's why today, politically, we are the ones who are now taking ourselves as slaves. Whether it's your uh, politicians, whether it is your own people who are sell selling you out to Libya. No Libyan came here to, to take Nigerians. Were there any Libyans in Nigeria? Nigerians took Nigerians out. So we, be, we continue to sell ourselves short. We have so many other nationals coming into Nigeria or into Africa today. We have the Chinese, we have the Indians. So many nationals coming here and breaking back. But we are not moving forward as a people. Do you trust the man next to you? Do you trust the system? Why do you get into a plane and you see a white man yourself? Well, it's too late. <laughs> Something is wrong with us people. And it is mental. It is mental. It is not the bombs they came with. It was never the guns they came with. They actually came here with powders, right? Yes. They came here with gunpowder. They came here with mirrors and gene and all of that. Something was wrong with you. Something was wrong with you. And something is still wrong with you. Wake up. Stop getting angry with the freezes of this world. They are not your problem. They are trying to help you. It might be wrong what he's saying. You might not agree what he's saying, what, what he's saying, but you must agree with the spirit of which he's saying it. You need to wake up. You need to wake up, black people. You need to wake up because nobody's going to hand it over to you. The slaves never handed it over. The, the slave masters never handed it over to you. So whatever your your, your master reads today is not going to hand you freedom. They are never going to hand you freedom. Freedom is not coming to you on a platter of gold. You are going to have to wake up. And stop being trivial and stop talking about, oh, you know, whether I like this person, or I don't like the way he's delivering it, or I don't like his face, or is he wearing Gucci belt? Mm -hmm. We need to stop about the fashion. Fashion is good, we all want to look good, but at this point in our lives, fashion is not important. Let the people who have conquered everything else talk about fashion. Fashion is not your problem right now. Yes. You have bigger problems. Some of us want to say, oh, we live in Ikoi, we live in Leki. That is those places are slums. They are slums compared to other places in the world. Yes. Don't feel like you are anybody because you live in Ikoi. It's a slum. You have bad roads. Yes. Nobody's allowing you to 
the toll gate. Right now, we have some other compatriots fighting at the toll gate. Young people, wake up! Don't be on social media buying data to be insulting celebrities mm -hmm. or to be following celebrities and know what they wore their last time. Yeah. That's not your business. How many of these big labels anyway are owned by Africans oh, no. or black people? No. Tomorrow you're wearing Ferragamo. Next tomorrow you're wearing Gucci or you're using your um, Facebook or you're using your Instagram or whatever. They are all made by who? White. 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 And you need to stop blaming them. I always say they are smarter. Mm -hmm. They were smarter. It's now up to you to decide if today they will remain smarter. Thank you.